Hey there guys, Angry Minion here welcome, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna do an unboxing video of the Logitech G923 True Force. The, uh, this, this, is my, this is my racing racing sim when, I, when I'm gonna drive in Gran Turismo Sport. Uh, this is compatible with the PS5 and PS4 as you can see here in the, in the box below. And uh, it's all this uh, Log the Logitech G923 is also compatible with the Xbox One and PC, but the one I got is for is the PlayStation compatibility. So we're gonna check the whole box, and um, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna go through with the unboxing. Okay, so let's check the whole box. So here's the front, the front, the front, the front of the box. Here. As you can see, there's a steering wheel and its servo base and uh, and the and the pedal and the pedals. So there. So let's twist it so you can see it. Okay. So this is the side, the, just like in other bo other boxes. So this is the bo the back. It has the introduction and thingy, and uh, it explains the force feedback and the real-time racing. Okay, so let's so let's unbox it. So I already remove all of the the con already remove all of the contents in the box because I know this is an unboxing video, but I don't really have. I don't really have an assistant to help me out for me to get the, the steering wheel and the pedals and all of it and its power cord so I have to do it off camera so here it is this is what the steering wheel looks like of the G923 Logitech True Force so this is the side and here's the pedals it's it has the clutch brakes and accelerator and this is the power cord and this one is for the table clamps if you want to looks like it looks more like of a trap for the table so it won't move but i don't have a table like that here that's why i, I think i will be having difficulties in inserting my, my steering wheel if i could find a table so, so this is what it looks like. So let, let let's check the steering wheel. The steering wheel it look here in the center looks like a PS PlayStation controller. It has the the arrows, the X O, the X circle, the triangle O, X square, L two R two L R three L three. So it doesn't have an R one. I think the R1 is located here on the pedals, the pedal shifter, and the L1 is here on the left. So let's move on. Below of the steering wheel. So here in this steering wheel, in this side, is this is where you attach the the shifter so you could use the clutch in in the pedals but if you, but in my case i don't really i don't have the stick so i only use this one the pedal shifter because it's I, in my opinion uh any people if you're comfortable using the pedal shifter then go for it but if you want to drive like a real car so i would advise you to buy the shifter so you could use the the clutch in, in any racing game okay next is here is this is where you attach the clutch uh, the clutch the the pedals so here it's cord so I'll have to insert it there so I could use it when I'm playing and over here in this tiny hole that you we can't really see or maybe you could see is where you connect the power cord so if your your steering wheel would work so this part is where you 
if you if you have a table you just put it under and then and then put it there and then spin there if i'm gonna spin this it would go up here see it goes up same as the other one and if i twist so it would go down and then it's fully inserted on the on the table this one this one is a clamp if you have a table if your table is just flat so you, i would suggest you don't don't use this but if your table has this one like this yeah this is recommended if you're gonna put it here okay i think that's all i could tell you about the steering wheel and its servo servo base uh, yes. sorry okay this is its side view has the logitech logo on it true force and the front and the back looks like a car yeah it does look like a car okay let's move on to the back to the pedals all right the pedals so just like all cars everything has a pedal so let's test it out and stepping it right so in my right foot in my right foot this is the accelerator it's uh, it's easy to use and in my left foot is the is the brakes so it's pretty difficult because it's very hard yeah you need a carpet or uh, attach it on the gaming on a racing rig and here's the clutch so it's easy the same as the, the accelerator but you could only use like I said before you could only use the the clutch if you have a, a, a stick for shifting gear for, for shifting the gear so, okay so the other thing is the power the power cord so this one connects to the servo base so so you could so it could work and yeah that's I think that's practically much it you would see okay let's get this back all right so practically i'll be using this when I, if when i'm gonna get my racing rig because i can't really play it well i already played this last week and uh, it's pretty difficult for me to drive without a dry uh a, a racing rig so so I may I might be making I'll be making videos maybe in the next two weeks by by using th this racing sim. So stay tuned for that. And I wanna for those who stayed. So I wanna thank you for staying this month uh, for stay staying and watching my videos. So I'll end it, I'll end it here and wait. Thank you and please subscribe. And thank you and please subscribe to my channel and press that notification bell for more videos and uh, so thank you and uh, see you